This is Trisha from East Marsh Shakers and today <clears throat> we're hopefully going to finish up this project in the hoop house. So as you can see, since we have uh, been losing chickens to overhead predators due to the cold and so on, uh, we had to move the chickens to their winter home. And the winter home is our hoop house. So in the summer you saw it full of tomatoes and cucumbers and <clears throat> peppers. Now it has their mobile coop in it, their water, and so on. So what we've been doing is, well last year they were in here as well, but we had this, the plastic of the, of the hoop house had wiggle wire holding it on the bottom. Now we have like kind of a roll up system so we could get airflow. And so um, it's not as secure obviously. So we decided to put up some uh, hardware cloth all along the edge and the bottom. So this is half inch uh, hardware cloth. So, so far we have done the whole um, perimeter of the hoop house with the and if you're wondering about the red tape that uh, is from last year's scratching so little little scratches in the <clears throat> in the plastic and so on so we have it all the way around so we had to put um, an 8 foot well, a 12 foot section here to put the uh, hardware cloth on. So what we did in the corners is we we did some L brackets and put that up there. Doubled it up because we didn't want to cut the lumber. Because we're gonna have to get them out in the spring. And so they will look at what they're doing. They're looking into <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. See? Yeah, it doesn't get you anywhere, does it? <laughs> they see a, a, a piece of wood and it's a perch. It becomes a perch. So in the spring when we want to bring them out, we bring them out to the back here. This is how we brought them in. We have to take apart the metal bars here and we kind of lay them down, put them up. Yeah. So I think what, then we can take the L brackets off and kind of lay this down to take out the the uh, the mobile coop when needed. <clears throat> so the other thing we're going to do is we're going to put bales of hay, uh, straw all the way along the edge too um, to give it a little bit more um, insulation in the winter. And uh, oh, I can see a, a few more openings there that need to be covered so anyways that's what we're doing so today we just have to finish up this edge here it needs a piece of wood right across there to attach the um, hardware cloth and then in the, to give some uh, uh, ventilation um, we had this but what happened is that it um, it kind of came apart. So we've got to fix this this uh, and reattach it well, so no predators can come in that way. Uh, so yeah, that's what uh, on tap for today, at least in the hoop house and uh, out in the garden, out there, the last row. Uh, up until we've got some, you can maybe see, um, we've got some asparagus and strawberries. Then now I planted some garlic all along the last row and covered it up with straw. And uh, so we'll finish covering it up with straw and then we'll put on a tarp for the winter and put the garden to bed. So I don't know about you gardeners, but I'm kind of ready to have a break from the gardening and be able to do other things like I have a lot of painting still to do in our house so um, that will be on the agenda 
anyways um, we'll update you on our progress for today and uh, we're also simultaneously Rachel's working on her tiny house stuff so we will uh, be helping her out with that as soon as we get this project done so we'll see you in a bit well ladies welcome to your to your new home yes that's you too and you on the pumpkin finishing it up and you in the corner digging seeing what's in the corners so they have their heated water they've got their chicken shaw for uh, roosting and for security and we've placed hardware cloth all the way around the outside so no animals beasts can get through and we're just finishing up the door so I tightened up the top rung which is coming completely apart and I put some more self-tapping screws along the top of the uh, hardware cloth at the bottom here and Trisha is just finishing off by um, wrapping some wire around uh, and through to secure the hardware cloth on the bottom so that uh, animals can't get through there either. Uh, we were not able to actually put the, put the self-tapping screws through. They just would not uh, would not go, so we're doing the wire instead. And I should actually come back later this week and uh, take the level of the ground down so that uh, the door does not have to be uh, taken up so that uh, it, it'll close a lot better uh, than what it's doing right now until we end up with snow and then of course it'll cause its own problems. All right so I'm going over to the tiny house to help Rachel. Uh, you can just see it on the other side of the the uh, berm over there. Swale. Swale first, berm second and uh, we'll see what she's got going on. Talk to you soon. you have any last words of wisdom? No, but I'll just finish my sewing with wire here in the bottom. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll see you over there. Yep. All right, before we run out of light, this has been a uh, bits and bits and bolts and that kind of stuff, uh, kind of weekend. And uh, just to bring you up to date as to what we're doing on this side of the property. So Rachel installed and stained her stairs that we built last week and uh, put them into space. Uh, Trisha was just here doing a little bit of raking, laying down a little bit of um, wood chips. Uh, we're gonna get, uh, this is more sawdust than wood chips, but uh, we've ordered more uh, wood chips so that uh, we can make a pathway uh, from the door of the tiny house to the back of our house so that uh, that will be available. We also took the jacks off the back so that we can install the skirting. So there's the back piece of the skirting. We'll be having an installation for internet. So coming from this box on the front side uh, down, we'll bring it parallel, bring the fiber parallel to the uh, power cable underneath and it'll come up the front side and here you can see the skirting is in place. We haven't tied it in yet. Uh, we'll start to do that uh, later on in the week. So skirting is all the way along and there's the skirting for the other side and the front. And that will put that into place. Uh, we had a bit of an issue uh, finding bolts. Apparently the bolts did not make the uh, trip from uh, Edmonton. And once the skirting is done and hopefully the uh, plumber is coming in to take a look at the uh, combi boiler uh, that will be in place and then Rachel can move in. Uh, in the meantime Rachel is finishing off the box here at the house by putting in a waterproof membrane in various places so she's got it at the front and so this will wrap around and then the front will screw in through it 
so that uh, there will be no air leaks and that was will be for the top and uh, it looks pretty good I, i'm glad that we saved that uh, material patricia saved that there material go, so that we could use it for a number of different places so this is left over from the roof of the garage anyways we will finish this up and uh, that'll probably be it for the week mm -hmm. but uh, let us just do a couple more minutes of work and uh, and we'll get to a few uh, final words okay so here's the finished product so we've got it watertight or fairly watertight we'll have okay, to I'll do another layer we'll have to there. tape there uh, I can't see oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> it's the light um, so we'll need to put another layer of tape there but other than that it's sealed down that side and the front is now basically watertight at least in the corners we're going to cross the top and the same thing on this side uh, even though it'll be hard to see but anyways that finishes it off and uh, I want to say goodbye to the good folks peace Rock out. out with your socks out all right we'll talk to you soon bye <laughs>